Good morning on a Fox News alert. She says they're going to have to drag her back kicking and screaming. Brand new reaction from Amanda Knox after an Italian court yet again found her guilty of murder and breaking this morning. New reports that the ex-boyfriend was stopped near the Italian border trying perhaps to leave that country. That's where we start. Good morning, everybody. And I'm Bill Hemmer on a Friday with my old friend Artie today. Oh, here. hello there, Bill. Nice it's the Purple you. Friday. Good to right see on. everybody. I'm Martha Lemon for Martha McCallum. So Amanda Knox giving an emotional interview in the last two hours describing what she felt when she heard that she had been found guilty and sentenced to 28 years in an Italian prison. Listen. My first reaction was, no, this is wrong, and I'm going to do everything I can to to prove that it is. This really has hit me like a train. I did not expect this to happen. Um, I, I really expected so much better from the Italian justice system. They found me innocent before. How can they say that it's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt? I'm going to fight this until the very end. And, um, and it's not right. And it's not fair. And, um, and I'm going to do everything I can. It hit her like a train. Well, now Knox faces what could be a very lengthy fight over extradition. Jonathan Hunt live now from our newsroom with more. And Jonathan, I mean, this was a very emotional interview with Amanda Knox today. As wow, it, re it really was, Arthel. Amanda Knox seemed to be struggling to hold it together as she talked uh, to Robin Roberts of ABC's Good Morning America over several minutes live in their studios today. Uh, she repeatedly protested her innocence, repeatedly talked about her shock at hearing what is in effect a second guilty verdict against her. Here's Amanda Knox. And I really hope that that people try to understand that like when you have overzealous prosecutors and when you have a biased interrogate uh, invite biased investigation and, and coercive interrogations like these things happen and I'm not like I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. It just, it puts you in a position where you feel like just really struggling to keep going there. Now, uh, she said she would fight extradition. Of course, her ex-boyfriend, Rafael Solecito, does not have that choice because he, of course, is already in Italy, although he was discovered this morning at a hotel very close to the Italian borders with both Austria and Slovenia. That obviously led to some speculation that he may be trying to escape Italian justice. His attorney said that it was absolutely not the case and he voluntarily handed himself in at a local police station there, Arthel. Yeah, and Jonathan, of course, all of that, and the family of uh, the now deceased, uh, murdered Meredith Kircher, they're also speaking out today. Yeah, and of course, in all of this talk about Amanda Knox, we should not forget uh, that that 21-year-old woman, Meredith Kircher, was brutally sexually assaulted and murdered on the night of November 1st, 2007. Her brother and sister, Lyle and Stephanie were in court yesterday to hear the verdict and they talked about their feelings about extradition earlier today. Listen. If somebody's found guilty um, and convicted of, of a, a murder, um, if an extradition law exists between those two countries, then I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, I imagine it would set a, a difficult precedent if, if a country such as the US didn't choose to you know, go along with laws that they themselves uphold. Now, that obviously is a major question, but it is only one that we will get to in about another 12 to 15 months' time, because this case now goes to the Italian Supreme Court. They will make a final ruling on Amanda Knox's guilt or innocence, and only then, it seems, will the Italian authorities decide whether they are going to seek Amanda Knox's extradition. As well, she has said very pointedly, Arthel, she will fight it to the bitter end. Arthel? Indeed. Jonathan Hunt, thank you.